All right, hello everyone. We are inside the inn or the hotel at uh, Onette. Our nightly raid is not cheap, but we have clean sheets and the rooms are secure. I'm sure that you understand that this keeps us very busy. I actually only came in here to save, but I realized I didn't come in here earlier. Can you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum on me as I was passing by. You look like you'd be a real sh target for the sharks. You better be careful. There's something wrong with that room. You gotta love the music in this game. Lonk! What are your thoughts on the music in Earthbound? Also, what are your thoughts on the uh, background I put I created for it? It's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. So here you are, you're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here, don't enter means just that. Do not enter, you got that? And furthermore, blah 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who, blah 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking out the roads, you know, blah 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 blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Why is the road to, to, to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? <laughs> okay, Chortle. <Chortle. laughs> what the fuck's a Chortle, anyway? Well, I know what a Chortle is, but like... How does one Chortle? Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Yeah! Hey, you small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. What is this? The cop attack. Crushing chop, iron. Cop turned back to normal. Pretty sure I just beat the crap out of a police officer. You're tough, you should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Of course you did. And I fucking missed him. There you go. No crushing chop for you. Oh, you won! Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy! Ness is fat? I never would have guessed. Eh, you like your crushing chops. Okay. Hey, 60 XP perfect feed. It's not too bad. Let's do this again sometime. Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. Nuclear. Come on, I'm gonna take your pot right here, right now, baby. Six XP. Damn, he left the present. He said the present was a hamburger. So I want to throw something away. Yes. Thanks for the hamburger, buddy. Ah, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can't. For you can forget about me. I'm gonna call for my boss. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition. So. Get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango, Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Captain Strong. Well, to start this off right, I should probably heal. Damn. 
did not work. Okay. He lost his temper. His offense keeps going up. Came out swinging, just missed. Defeated. Raised its attack so much it became so slow. Rookie mistake. Trunks and Cell? They, they could tell you that. I didn't think you'd do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on a sec, I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep, beep. Strong here. Do you read me? Hey! It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A kid named Sass will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why, just do it! That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not gonna question you now. But I do want to see you again. Good luck. I think you'll you should have some questions if your entire police force got beat up by a kid. Let's go see our mother. What's your favorite part about Earthbound Lock? Like, why did you request this game? I mean, it's awesome, and I don't re I regret that, but... Sass? Sass? Sass, I'm a friend who you've never met before. My name is Steve. Can you hear me calling you? I am Steve. A butterfly. I don't need to grab it, but I'm going to anyway. I'm gonna anyway. Okay. Moving on. So, the road to Tucson should be open now. And Tucson should be to the south here. Yeah. Where it says to Tucson on the map. Aren't you sass? Well, I got the okay from Chi Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. I won. We're gonna join in. Okay, it's just sand aids. Okay, nothing special. I thought it was gonna be something different, but I was just too strong for it. Apparently, it is not. Black Antoid became tame. Alright, let me need XP. How much do I need to level up? 493. Not bad. I live rent free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. You have too many items. You can't take my sons. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. 
exit mouse. I need another character, I need more space. Way through the trees. Seem to recall. Hey Vish, how's it going? Playing some Earthbound here, I'm gonna be done in about 20 minutes or so. Maybe I'm imagining it. I could have sworn there was a way through the trees there. Oh, hello. You're a new monster. A rambling evil mushroom. Priestess Vish is now following. Welcome to the community, even though I thought you already were a part of the community. I just got to put a mushroom on my head. What an asshole. What the fuck do mushrooms do? Ah! Vish, thank you for the sub! Fish, you get six votes towards any one of those five games I have listed below for the Halloween event. That was a ketchup packet throw. Look at where I have it for it, I guess. But thank you very much for the sub. I really appreciate it. I got a mushroom on my head. Okay, that happened. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. Well, this one's running right at me. It's gotta be something different. Nope, nothing different, just androids. What's that? It? it just hit me for like 50 damage. It's kicking my ass. But oh, fish. You can now use this. Although I'm gonna see if PM will make me a different uh, one now. That is. Oh, you should be able to see what it is by mousing over it. Now that you are a member, you can use that icon. Although I am going to. Uh... I'm thinking about making like a sleeping slimes for people to use. This mu mushroom is killing me here. Alright, where's the mushroom? Alright, the hospital's way the fuck over there. Alright. So this kind of fucks with my controls, I think. That's an excellent question. Send an invite and I will accept. It reset my controls again. What a... So that's what the mushroom does. It constantly resets your controls. You may not believe it, I am a healer. Alright. Well, let's make a deal. You gave me $50 to take that mushroom. Okay. I'll take it! And that's an excellent question, bitch. Let me see here. Except. We are friends now. Oops, why am I on your page? We gotta be on my page. I can't monitor my stream if I'm not on my page. There we go. What do you think of the background, Vish? 
Appear, appear. Okay. Well, since we're in town yet, at the party, let's go talk to people. Did you know that two young inventors live in this town? I want to invent something too. Really? What would you like to uh, invent? What could you possibly invent that would have... I heard Steve was kidnapped, but it's still unconfirmed. At least the insides of the houses mostly look different. Dad and Mom left for Happy Happy Village. They want to meet with the founder of the religion there. Happy Happy Religion? Hmm. Sounds... Very positive. Is that a zombie? The fuck is this? You meet the unassuming local guy. Okay. Maybe we're 17. You're a dick. Come back to normal. 146 EXP. Not bad. Welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and a wonderful chaos theater. There's the Pole Star Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of town, you'll find the peaceful West Valley. And on the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Well, T, I don't know anything else. Tucson! We got this name because we weren't first. Kind of reminds you of Ragnarok. Went down there for no reason. Pictures taken instantaneously on the photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Does that guy just hop down and take pictures of children? If so, that's weird. This is the cycle shop, punk sure. Bicycles are so much more, uh, so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. It'll be pretty popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Wanna rent one? I really like your straightforward style. Tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. You have two minutes. Why don't you get rid of something and come back? Two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Just to know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you. Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. I see you're young, but have some adventures. I think that Steve would be a good friend for you. Apparently she would be, as she messages me in my dreams. Mr. 
apartment's noise and crowded. I like that. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently, and my mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. Would you like to return something? Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. Who'd you like to buy a ticket for the Run Y5 show? No. Oh, I mistook you for a customer. When I heard a meter, I crashed onto a hilltop near on it. it. Must have been exciting. I think my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here, and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls, because he's groovy? Yum yum. I mean, he a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on a TV ad, and I just had to try one. I'd, I'll bet I can really move after eating this. I want to visit my boyfriend, indeed. So the bus won't go there. I wonder why. A teddy bear they sell over there. I heard it helps in the battle. I don't know what they're talking about. Looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you get it? Hi, can I help you? What are you going to buy? I'm going to buy a teddy bear for 178 gold. No, thank you. Yeah, I can use a slingshot. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a slingshot. Yeah, 36 offense. I used to tease Black Trife about playing T ball. He actually plays by, uh, softball, so. So some weird guy following Steve. This guy gave me the creeps. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway Five. If I had some connections, I could waltz right in. But I'm just a regular Joe. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Queef. I'm studying a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. I guess I lost my tickets, now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. You wanna see Poochie Fudd, the manager? Right through this door, please. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> All right, well, that's unfortunate for them, I suppose. Hello, please present your ticket. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Do you play some sports? If you do, that's fine by us, Tucson Athletic Committee. Oh, well, that's good to know. Oh, fuck off, hint man. I don't have anything for you. If you have time to read this, go to the Chaos Theater immediately. Well, why would I do this? Why would I do this thing? 
If you're looking for Venus Assess, it's next door. My daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using a stage name, Vane. Vane. Oh, Vane something. She's working her very hard. You don't even know her fucking stage name. What the hell's your problem, lady? There was a kidnapping! Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Whoop! Burglin Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. The boss of Burglin Park is Everjet. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. Everjet has always watched over Burglin Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any cro co crooked cops. I came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes the dish taste better, while the wrong one makes it taste worse. If the condiment matches the food, you'll get more power than if you ate the food item plain. Hello, would you like some seasoning to add to your foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. When you eat something, the seasoning will sparkle, sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. Would you like? Okay, so if I eat, eat hamburger, I can have a condiment of ketchup with it. Of course, Everdrain isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful egg. You won't get through uh, your teen years without at least one egg. Please. It makes you feel good just to sit and look at my pots. I like pots. That's what I really want in, is the tool, tool shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Mm. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, if flies land on them, but in my opinion, it makes them taste even better. What would you like? Nothing. I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything, so I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. I don't have $98 on me. Hey, man. You got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, man. Buy some of my junk. What would you like, man? That would be better than what I have. Interesting. Come back to you. Do you like some bananas? Hey kid, do you want to buy some? Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? You think it's hot? Look, I didn't steal it. <laughs> why don't we have a chat after we've locked horns? I guess we're locking horns. Hi, Everdred. Speed has ever done it had. Quite a bit, apparently. Ah, got him. Alright. We did it, team! Together, we took down Everjet. And we got to level 14. Offense went up by 1, speed by 1, maximum HP by 3, PP by 2. And I got paralysis to say, Alpha. So there's that. Yeah, I'm Everjet, boss of Berglin Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Steve. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Steve some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might not be gone already. You might, you better hurry. If you say Steve, you should have bring her back here, okay? Don't forget. Alright, so I'm going to want to buy the... Uh copper bracelet. I'm gonna buy the stop sign from that guy at some point. For now though, let's just go up to the hotel. Oh, 
Call Dad. Sass, it's your dad. I deposit 493 into your account. Take away what you spent. You should now have 1,716 in the bank. 862 to level. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a follow. Um, I'm gonna be here playing Earthbound every Saturday night, 9 p.m. EST to 12 a.m. EST. I'll be back tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. for from some Final Fantasy 11. We are almost done with Windurst's story and we're gonna be going on to Windurst's past. <laughs>